So let's talk about backing up today. Today I'm going to show you how to create two different backups. And these two backups serve different purposes. So it's a good idea to have both of them. What you're going to see is I'm going to use the same external hard drive for both of the backups. But ideally you would want to keep them on two separate disks. But for the sake of simplicity and time, I'm going to put both of the backups on the same hard drive. And what I'm using is an external hard drive that I bought from uh, Amazon. And it's about $100 and you can get at least one terabyte of data. And that's going to be plenty to back up. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take that hard drive and I'm going to connect it to my computer. Okay, and when I connect it, this time machine will automatically say, hey, there's a external hard drive. I think I should back up to this thing. And I am going to say decide later because I want to do something with this uh, disk before I start backing up. I told you I want to put two different backups on this disk. So I'm going to, I'm going to launch the disk utility. I use command space bar to get uh, a spotlight search. And then I simply type disk utility and when the when it's highlighted in blue I just hit enter and that launches the disk utility program okay so I'm gonna click here on the one terabyte uh, Seagate backup drive and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to partition it and the current partition is like one big hard drive I'm going to say, change this to two And let's see, the first drive, I want it to be the exact same size as my hard drive inside the computer. And I'm going to name this clone. And I'm going to click options and make sure the GUID partition table is selected. That's if you want to use this disk to start up your Mac. So that's good and the second partition I'm going to call uh, time machine okay and that takes up the rest of the space check the options it's also set to GUID partition table and that looks all good so I'm going to now click apply and everything's going to be lost on this disk it's a blank disk right now so I don't care if I erase everything I'm gonna click partition okay this should happen pretty quickly and now that I've partitioned it and the the hard drives pop up again it asks me if I want to use the clone or this new time machine to back up with time machine okay I'm gonna select the time machine because it's the larger of the two and I'm gonna click use as backup disk Okay, I'm back. I've authenticated and I've selected that I'm going to use Time Machine with this newly created Time Machine hard drive. And you can see the countdown here. It's going to start backing up in just a few seconds. So I'm going to let this Time Machine backup run and then I'll be right back after Time Machine has backed up everything on this computer. Okay, so my backup has completed and I got a little notification because I'm running Mavericks. So I'm just gonna close that. Congratulations, you have your first Time Machine backup. So if all else fails, you can restore your Mac from this backup. Okay, so we're gonna keep Time Machine on because we want it to continue backing up. And what Time Machine does is, is this is great. It keeps these local snapshots hourly backups for 24 hours, daily backups for a month, and then week, uh, weekly backups of all previous months. So that's pretty cool. Your computer will always be up to date with Time Machine. And if you 
ever change a document and you want to revert back to an older version, as long as you have the Time Machine snapshots, you can go back in time and retrieve a previous version of a document. So that is great. I'm going to close that and I'm also going to close Disk Utility. I use the keyboard shortcut Command Q to quit the application. Well, I want to show you how to make a second backup called a clone backup. And to do that, I'm going to use a program called Carbon Copy Cloner. So what Carbon Copy Cloner does is it creates a complete clone of your hard drive. So if the hard drive in your computer has a catastrophic failure, you can very easily connect this disk to your computer, boot from the external disk, and start working. So in other words, with zero downtime, you can immediately get back to work. And that is a peace of mind that a lot of people would love to have. Okay, so this is a premium product. And if we uh, click on purchase here, you'll see that this uh, application is $40. So this is your next level of backup. When you're ready to take this plunge, I highly recommend this program carbon copy cloner. Let me quit out of Safari and I'm going to start carbon copy cloner. You can see when I do that spotlight search with command space bar all I have to do is type in the first few letters of the application it becomes highlighted and I just hit enter. Okay so what I have to do is I have to select a source disk which will be my hard drive on my Mac and a destination disk which would be the one called clone and let's see what do I want to do on uh, with data already on the destination well there is none so I'm just going to say uh, delete anything that doesn't exist on the source so I'm just going to click clone And this is going to delete things on clone, and that's fine, so I will continue. Okay, I've got to type in my username and password again, so I will be right back and start this process in a moment. Okay, I've started the clone, and it's beginning to copy everything over. If you've got gigabytes and gigabytes, this could take two to three hours, so I'm going to pause the video and come back when this is all done. Okay, so our backup has completed successfully. You might have seen a notification up here. And it only took 16 minutes. I am thoroughly impressed by this program. The Time Machine backup took about 40, 45 minutes. And this clone took 16. So very, very impressive. All right, so now you have two backups. You have your clone that you can boot up this, this computer from at any time and you have your time machine backup which will keep running copies of your files as you modify them. So these are two of the three backups that would be great to have. The third backup is an off-site backup or an online backup and for my most important files I use Dropbox for that and we'll cover that in another video. Great job backing up and I'll see you again in another video.